You see that? Now, if you remember, when we inserted the original photo here, we actually made it larger to fit the canvas. So my chair here is a little bit smaller than what I originally started out with. No problem. We'll just enlarge it. Remember, if you want to size proportionately, keep your, keep your finger depressed on the Shift key as you pull on one of the corner handles. There. And I can use my arrow key on my keyboard. I'm depressing the left arrow key and I can nudge the chair in place. That's pretty easy. There you go. Now there are a couple of tips to remember when you use the photo crop. One is that the photo that you're cropping cannot have anything grouped to it. So that's why it's a good idea to insert the photo and then crop that photo. Because once you insert it, it has nothing grouped to it. The other thing to remember when you're cropping is that you must have both the photo and your trace highlighted. They must both be highlighted. Now if you come up and take a look at the photo crop icon, you can see that it is deactivated. The only time you will be able to use the photo crop icon is if a photo and a drawn object are highlighted at the same time. So remember, your photo is on the first layer and that layer is currently locked. Your design is on layer 2. When you save your portfolio and you come back to edit it again, remember open up your layers window and make sure to highlight layer 2.